looking at the UCLA game, I thought that uh, similar to the week before, where we have uh, we had some positive things happen. We did some some things better than we have uh, in previous games in the season, but still came up short, which is the bottom line. You know, it was, it was a situation where we competed for the full 60 minutes. Um, defense, I thought we played well enough to to win the game. In fact, the, the defense kept us in the game and gave us a chance at the end to uh, to win, but uh, didn't get it done. Um, offensively, I think we took some, another couple steps forward. You know, third downs were much better. Our third down percentage uh, still probably not quite good enough, but a big improvement. Took care of the football. You know, we had the one interception early, uh, deflected pass. Probably a bad decision to make that throw, but uh, the deflection and the resulting in interception was not really on Travis. Um, let's see. We had uh, special teams play, a big play on special teams uh, on the punt. Selwood punted the ball very well. So I think there were some positives there, but. Uh, Again, just like the you know last week when I was up here, not enough positives to uh, to get a victory, and so we got to continue to work hard and, and uh, look at what we're doing uh, in every aspect. Everything we're doing, we're you know we're evaluating constantly. Um, Travis Wilson, I thought for his first outing as a true freshman uh, in a in a fairly hostile environment, uh, you know, a Pac-12 game on the road against a good UCLA team, responded pretty well. You know, he did not have. Any deer in the headlight look whatsoever. He was uh, confident. He was poised. His numbers were pretty good. Completed uh, just about 70% of his balls, and so I think there's some, uh, you know, there's some uh, very positive things that we can take from his performance. Hopefully, going forward, uh, looking at uh, our next ball game, Oregon State. Very good football team, and that's that's the thing I want to emphasize the most. They are a good team, and they're they're playing well together. Uh, you know they have some good individual players on the team as as well, but how they play as a team is, is impressive. And uh, Coach Riley's done a great job getting that program back on track. I know they struggled last year, but uh, they've turned it back around this year. They're they're playing good football. Uh, offensively, they've got uh, two excellent receivers, uh, the Wheaton kid that uh, you know he's up in the leaders in the Pac-12 in receptions. The other kid, I think Cooks is his last name, extremely fast and. Somebody told me he uh, he was the second fastest man in the Pac-12 in the 100-meter dash. So, so that didn't surprise me when I heard that because he's got great quickness. Uh, playing good defense, uh, particularly against the run. They're, they're I think they're leading the conference in rush defense, uh, leading the conference in opponent third down percentage, and so you know they're they're Coach Banker, their defense coordinator, has done a great job there for a lot of years, and this year is. Uh, you know, one of the best defenses they've put out there, and so he's. It's going to be a tough ball game. Uh, ranked, what are they, number eight in the country, and uh, in my opinion, well deserving of that ranking. So, questions, Coach, is uh, Travis now the full time starter the rest of the year? You making a commitment? Well, to him you don't. There? You don't uh, ever say forevermore, but right now he's our guy, and he we're, we're pleased with his with his initial performance, and and uh, you know we don't want him playing on eggshells, and and I don't think. You know, that's not, uh, you know, there's a fine line. We want to be competitive and we talk about having competition every week and needing to perform. But at the same time, you get it, the guys got to know that we have confidence in him. And what we saw in that game, we have confidence in Travis and, and going forward that he will continue to improve. Sure, you have t discussed this before, but can you just reiterate why at this point you decided to go with, or last week decided to go with Travis? Make a change? Well, you know, we know what John Hayes is all about. We had him uh, all obviously for. The majority of last season and, and then this year, and he's improved. But uh, you know, we're just looking for a spark in the offense and a, and a and a guy, you know, that we have in the program right now, Travis Wilson, that we think has a tremendous upside. We just felt, given the whole situation and, and weighing the, all the circumstances, it was time to give him that chance. And plus, how he's been practicing, obviously, I mean, his performance in practice maybe had the biggest impact on the decision, but. But uh, we've got to find a way to be better. We're not good enough offensively, and we, and we got to find a way to be better. And we're, we're, uh, you know, exploring every avenue to that end. Is he a natural leader with this team, being a freshman? Is Seems he... to be. Yeah, the, the players respond to him. They rally around him. He's got no shortage of confidence, uh, no shortage of poise, and uh, you know his demeanor in the in the huddle and how he runs things is all very good. So I don't think there's anything negative at all in that respect. Kyle, well, last year Oregon State was three and nine. This year they're undefeated, top eight in the country. As you've looked at them, what, what's the biggest reason for their, their turnaround this year or reasons? Well, uh, you know, that, that's a great question because a lot of the personnel is the same. You know, I think last year 
uh, one thing that is paying dividends this year is they went with Mannion. You know, they went with a freshman quarterback and took some lumps with him, knowing that in the big picture and down the road it was probably going to pay dividends. And I think up until obviously this week when he wasn't available, I think that has been the case. And, and as I mentioned at the very onset of the uh, of the press conference here, they're playing so well as a team. They seem to have that chemistry that's so elusive that uh, you know not everybody in the country can find, and it's hard to it's hard to create it. It almost has to to happen naturally, and it looks like they've they've got that going on there, and they've got a great uh, just a, a camaraderie. You can just feel it on tape. You can sense it. They're playing together. They're playing hard, and they're enjoying what they're doing.